On Monday, the felony charge against the man who shot and killed the two people after a home invasion was dropped. Our Ben Dennis joins us live in the studio to explain how this case unfolded. Ben. Well, Thomas, it was Ronald Stolarczyk who shot and killed Nicholas and Patricia Tallarico in late May. And prosecutors said he was not charged in the homicides based on self-defense law. And on Monday, a Deerfield town judge dropped the charge Stolarczyk did face, criminal possession of a weapon. It wouldn't be fair to Mr. Stolarczyk to prosecute him zealously on the possession when the only reason we're doing that is because we have two dead people in the house. You have to pull those things aside and you have to say on what he's charged with, which is possessing a weapon he inherited from his father, what do we usually do. And Oneida County District Attorney Scott McNamara says his office typically tells people in a situation where a gun was inherited, get the gun transferred to their own pistol permit, sell it to someone else, or hand it over to police until a pistol permit is acquired. McNamara says Stolarczyk shot the Tallaricos inside his home after telling the pair to leave. Why wasn't he charged in the homicides? In New York State, you have the right to defend yourself in your home against from a burglary. Um, so people get a little confused. There's different ways that you can use deadly physical force. One is you can use deadly physical force if you're confronted with deadly physical force. That's not the situation we're talking about. In this case, if you're in your home, and it's called the castle doctrine, you have the right to defend your home against somebody breaking into it to commit a burglary. Your defense has to be reasonable. So it wouldn't be reasonable for someone to shoot somebody in the back after they had been confronted and said, hey, listen, get out of my house, and the person turns around and runs away and you shoot them in the back. It's not reasonable to believe that you need to shoot them to terminate the burglary because they're fleeing the scene. It's already terminated. And in this case, McNamara says the Tallaricos were both shot in the front of their body, not in the back. Live in the studio, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.